you very much. Another round of applause for the Jason Paul Laksamana. Next up, he is known for playing the role of Mateo Silverio in ABS CBS Capamilia Gold Teleserie Los Bastardos. Ladies and gentlemen, let's all welcome the country's hottest and newest heartthrob, Marco Gumamao. drama, um, especially because, as you mentioned, I did so many dramas in the past few years. Um, so, more than anything, when I got the script and I read it, but it, there was no pressure in a man because it was going to be sexy, uh, more of excited because it was a beautiful story. It's not just based on the sexiness of the film. It's actually such a beautiful story. So that's what got me even more excited. So, yeah, no pressure, just excited lang. You did mention your husband uh, just a few minutes ago. Doing that now that you're a happily married woman, does it make it a bit more difficult and a little bit more uneasy? Um, I think I mentioned it during our, our blog conference. In fact, um, see, Erwan is very open about my work. He's not strict or anything. Um, but I felt when I received the script, um, should I ask permission? Um, not necessarily, because um, he understands my work completely, but I did let him read the script. Um, just out of respect, I guess, just to see what he would say. And he found it a beautifully written strip, a script by direct Jason Paul. And he's like, it's such a go. He had suggestions, and he was wondering where it's going to be shot and everything. So, um, yeah, he was totally okay with it. So, out of respect, I just let him read the script but he's not the type that would make me ask permission from him to do a role even in future films okay before we go on direct papakwento ko muna sa iyo yung uh, gist lang ng story ng just as a stranger and uh, can you give us a little info lang about Anne and uh, marcos respective roles in the film okay ang gist ng just a stranger is about a married woman, played by Anne Curtis, 
who met a younger guy sa Lisbon, Portugal, played by Marco. He's the son of an of a, an ambassador, a Filipino ambassador sa Portugal. And then when they met doon, they went uh nagkaroon sila ng one night stand and they promised na dapat wala makakaalam because it's just supposed to be a one time thing. Pero fate or destiny led them together in the Philippines and alam nilang mali but they just can't help it. So, doon niikot yung ano, kwento. Hanggang saan nila kayang panindigan ng pagtaguan yung lipunan at yung mga minamahal nila sa buhay para may pagpatuloy yung ganang relationship. Okay. So, our next question will come from Ito Mario Bautista. How was it shooting in Lisbon, in Portugal? How long were you there? Jason, ikaw na? Um, I think we were there well, yung crew and staff for 10 days. Uh, then they came later on when everything was prepared. Ilan shooting tayo? I think, uh, yeah, four days, four to five days. Yeah, we were there for a week. Um, okay naman kasi yung weather, uh, pag umaga, medyo malamig, then mainit pag afternoon, parang sa Pilipinas lang, and then very cinematic talaga yung lugar. Parang kahit saan mo itutok yung camera, best ano best production design talaga sa ano yung register sa camera uh, ayun tapos parang we were very ano free diba to do whatever we, we wanted hindi naman nakikilala may mga tao doon ayun it was such a memorable experience for me na kasi first time ko rin mag-shoot mag -shoot sa Europe ayun so hindi naman guerrilla style yung inyong pag uh, shoot uh, you had all the permits permits yeah Meron kaming coordinator doon. And, uh, how did you feel? Kasi, suki-suki ka sa PPP. How did you feel when suddenly hindi na nag-isun this one? Well, I was a bit dismayed because uh, gusto ko sanang ma-share itong pelikulang ito with the usual followers of PPP. But I'm sure, uh, you know, the selection committee has, uh, meron sila sarili ng reason. And, you know, we just respect their decision and find our own play date na malay natin, baka mas maganda. <laughs> yeah. So, how was it directing uh, senior actors, Edu and Sherry? Akala ko senior actors, Anne Curtis. <laughs> Kasi bata pala ako, oh, napapanood ko na siya. Oh. <laughs> Sabi ko nga, di ba, ano pa lang, bebote nga, days pa lang. Uh, <laughs> Um, nakaka-intimidate kasi I still, relatively, I still consider myself a new sa industry. Kasi 2016 lang naman talaga ako talagang nagtuloy-tuloy. Uh, but at the end of the day, I just need to do my job. And it, I'm so fortunate na sina Sir Edu at si Miss Sherry. They're very ano, open na makatrabaho yung mga younger people. They respect uh, my vision for it. And hindi ako mahirapan yun. Si Miss Sherry naman nakasama ko sa isang film festival sa Hanoi. So prior to this uh, project, medyo nagka-bonding moments na kami doon. Kaya madali na lang. Ikaw, Anne, how was it working with Edu as your husband? Um, working with Tito Edu was such an honor for me. Um, in the beginning, I didn't know how to feel because, of course, his son is my best friend. And then, uh, here, he plays my husband. So, uh, I didn't, like, it, it was quite a laughing moment when we, when we did our first shooting day. We had a lot of fun, but... Um, he made me feel comfortable right away. Um, he's a superb actor, so there was no awkwardness actually when we started filming. Um, and I hope that one day I actually get to do a full-length film with him. Um, with Tita Shuri, um, I've worked with her years ago for Mi Bukas Pa, um, a Viva show. So it was nice to be reunited with her. She's always such a joy to work with and always fun to have conversations with. I mean, you have, she has so much wisdom to share. So it was a nice little reunion with Tita Shuri. Uh, last year was a really busy year for you with uh, three movies and you got nominated in some of them and some of them even won awards. Yeah. But this year, bakit para kang biglang nag-slow down? It's already July bago maipalabas itong first movie mo for you. Um, I think, but we, st we filmed this naman fairly early on. Um, at least we weren't pressured that, you know, you just have three months to film and then it's going to be aired, it's going to be shown right away, which I think is the proper way of filming. Um, 
And then um, I'm now currently shooting the Vice Ganda film. So I think two films in a year is fair enough. I mean, I'll never do again the three films in a year. Um, it just takes up too much of your, of your life. Um, I think at least one film a year, or maybe two films. But I'm happy that I got to experience the three films in one year. But I don't think I'll ever do it again. And uh, meditate ka ulit sa film fest. <laughs> Meron ulit uh, with, with Vice naman. So that's a totally different genre as in another genre that I don't think I've ever done before. So I'm very excited about that film also. Si Marco, uh, how did you feel when you were told that you will be paired with the Uncarted? Oh, syempre. Well, I was super, um, actually po, I was at, I was at home. Uh, I was watching TV as I, re I can remember. And then my RM from Viva calls me and she was she po yung sobrang excited. And basta sumisigaw lang siya over the phone. And I was, hindi ko alam kung ano yung nangyayari. Akala ko may nagawa akong masama or may kalokohan na naman akong nagawa. So, then she told me na parang, uh, sabi niya sa akin, Koy, uh, partner ka ni Anne. And now, first, hindi ko, hindi ko makapaniwala na, sabi ko, what, what do you mean partner? Like, what kind of movie or like that? So, she explained it to me and at first, I was really in shock. Sobrang gulat na gulat po talaga ako. Pero, kasi we worked sa Aurora. Pero sa Aurora, um, it wasn't really... It's way, way different from uh, Just a Stranger. So, when my RM told me about the story, about the love story, I was really, really excited. And of course, ano nag-iisang Diyosa ng Pilipinas? Si Miss Ann Curtis. It's such a privilege of uh, to be paired up with her and of course, to work with her. So, yeah, I'm super privileged and uh, very happy na ako yung napili ng Viva. And how are the love scenes? Uh, during the love scenes? Ako, uh, <laughs> panoorin nyo na lang po. Pero uh, the love scenes, um, ako po yung sobrang kabadong kabado po talaga ako nung una. Yeah, because it was my first time. Uh, so yun, pero they, ano, Derek and si, ano, si Ann, they took care of me naman. They, uh, oh, sobrang ka nalaga naman nila ako. <laughs> <laughs> but she, they really did, and they made me feel very comfortable with it. So yeah, so I really want to thank the both of them. So and um, how would you uh, size up the acting of Marco since you're the more experienced actors between the two of you? Oh. I think he did very, very well in the film. Um, considering that this is his, hello, considering that this is his first. Uh, major role and it's first as a leading man is it your first as a leading man so for a film so um, I think he did extremely well of course under the eye of Derek uh, Jason Paul they did workshops and even on set you know he was really guiding Marco so uh, when I was dubbing the film in fact I I got to see how um, well he did on screen I mean all the new ones says they're there, so ang ganda, ang ganda ng binibigay ng mata niya, and you'll see that in the film. Jason, hindi ka ba nahirapan directing him? Kasi nasanay ka sa mga J.C. Santos, yung mga ganun, tapos uh, uh, Marco, ang ninawakan mo. So, how was it? Was uh, as director naman, I think it's my responsibility na kumbaga case-to-case basis ang pagdidirect. Siyempre, if, if it's an actor na medyo veteran na, of course, iba yung atake kapag medyo relatively newcomer pala yung actor. So, prepared naman ako to, to deal with, you know, an actor like Marco. 